that hour? Uh, there are uh, five of my close friends uh, yeah. that I communicated with in the morning yeah. uh, around that time. And uh, it was something uh, uh, peculiar. I had a very interesting last one week mm -hmm. on uh, personal matters. Uh, and uh, also over the weekend, I had you in your sports, you mentioned uh, doing the golf. Yes. Although I'm not uh, an avid golfer myself, I was very engaged from uh, uh, Wednesday all the way to uh, Saturday mm. uh, on the, my home club's uh, uh, chairman's last week and uh, this week's uh, captain's uh, prize. Mm -hmm. So it's been a very interesting week. So for some, so for some reason, mm -hmm. I got a routine mm -hmm. uh, of uh, up to late in the, in the, in the night. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the past uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I have been trying to adjust. And uh, so today, or yesterday I would say, let me say today, at around uh, 2.30, my, my sleep escaped. Uh, but uh, more to do with some thoughts that were deep inside me. Mm -hmm. And if I happen to be on that uh, trajectory, I go to my study. I can be nocturnal. <laughs> you can be nocturnal. Yes. And you said, uh, to quote your tweet, you said, rather your post on X now, mm -hmm. so-called NADCO is a lie set to deodorize a covert deal that perpetuates politics of myopia, greed, graft, bribery, and opportunism. May innocent blood and spirits of mandamano victims uh, haunt those stalking fraudulence, as well as you urge ESEC to investigate this NADCO alongside the BBI and recover all funds wasted in what you say illegal processes and you beseech the judiciary to once more be the gallant patriotic vanguard against uh, greed, what you said is greedy political elite atrocities. These are your tweets that you know put on another post you made on X and what exactly has disappointed you about the NATCO report? It's actually not a, a personal disappointment. Yeah. It's something that is uh, very universal. Yes. Uh, you need to track uh, communications, you know, the conversations uh, in various uh, digital platforms, and also talk to people directly. Uh, many a time, oftentimes, people who are in power, well, have also been there, people who are uh, trapped to power, or people who are pursuing power, uh, become oblivious of the feelings of the people out here. So uh, the deliberations that have been happening at Bomas have been issued from the very beginning, have not had their public goodwill. Uh, you can hear politicians, like I'm one of them, because they are supporting this formation, that is either the Raila formation or the Ruto formation, because those are the two that have been, uh, have been bipartisan. There's not been uh, like the Bomas of 2003-0405, where you had stakeholders drawn from across mm -hmm. the spectrum of uh, uh, people and the, the diversity of opinions. Yes. So there's been a, a discussion between Raila men mm -hmm. and uh, Ruto men. And by men, I mean men and women. Mm -hmm. So the, the people may be saying they are disappointed, but it's not really a, a, a radical disappointment is a confirmation of what people already knew, that uh, there has been what you call political chicanery mm -hmm. or political uh, deception, underground. I was in this uh, station the day Raila appeared in the evening in another station and uh, disclosed that he had a meeting with Ruto somewhere noticed at the state house in Babasa. But it doesn't matter whether it was state house or Ruto's home or his own home, mm -hmm. is that they had a secret meeting. And he said that the following morning, he met his team to brief them about the meeting. The very fact that the initial meeting was secret, I mean, it's antagonism of Madamano and the, the belligerence that was coming from Ruto himself and his team speaks volumes about the politics of conmanship, 